Right, hey guys, Jack here from Peach Guitars and welcome to the continuation of our series where we're exploring the Line 6 HX effects and more specifically using Line 6's HX edit software on our computer to start building and manipulating our presets on the HX. So if you've seen the other videos in our series so far, you'll have seen that we've created a basic preset using six blocks on the HX. We've then more recently started to use the effects loops on the unit as well to interface with our amplifier's effects loop to run four cable method and also to use an external overdrive pedal. So what we're going to do now is start talking about how we can further control our analog devices. So in this case, I want to hook up the unit to be able to switch the channels on our Friedman Run 20 amplifier. And later on in this video, we're also going to talk about using expression pedals to control different parameters of the effects blocks. Right, so let's address issue number one, which is going to be using the HX effects to switch the channel on our amplifier. Now, in this case, we've got a Friedman Run 20. So this process will apply to any amplifier that has a single foot switch socket on it, which will allow you to change the channels on the amp. So all I need to do in this particular case is hook up a TRS cable. So if your amplifier came with a foot switch cable, that cable will likely work in this process. But this is just a standard stereo jack cable that I've hooked up to uh, the second expression port on the HX. Now you have two of these on here, which will allow you either to interface with external devices as we're doing now, or to use expression pedals. So the first thing I need to do in this process is tell the HX exactly what I'm connecting it to. And to do that, I can do that within the HX edit software. So I just need to come right down here to the bottom of the window to the little settings icon. And under the device settings tab, I need to just tell it to listen to pedal 2 jack as an external amp setup rather than an expression. So let's select that. Now that basically knows now that we're going to be using it to toggle off some kind of relay. In this case, it's for an amplifier channel switch. OK, now I want to first of all decide on a foot switch I want to use to toggle the amp channel switch. So I'm going to use foot switch number 5, which at present has our delay block assigned to it. So I need to remove that first of all. And that's really, really easy to do. I just need to come up here to the delay block go over to the Bypass and Controller Assign tab, and over here where the tape delay is selected, I just need to right click on that and clear that assignment. Now you can see that I have a foot switch free to be able to use it for the amp channel switch. So now what I need to do is access the command center for the HXFX, which will allow me to determine which foot switch I'm going to use to change the channel on the amp. So to do that within HX Edit software, all I need to do is come up here to the window tab up the top on our Mac, come down to command center, and now you've got this really helpful little kind of diagram of, or, uh, of all the six foot switches as well as external expression switches if those are hooked up. So we're going to use foot switch number five, as I mentioned, to change our channels. So I'm going to select that. And under here on the command tab, I just need to tell it to basically listen to it as an external amp switch. So now that that's done, I need to select uh, jack number two because that's the one we're using. And it's going to be listening to both the tip and ring uh, of the cable connection. And now I just need to customize it to say that that's my amp channel switch. So I just need to type into this box whatever I want to call that foot switch. In this case, I'm just going to call it amp channel. And I can also change the color if I want to, just as we did when we assigned all of the other uh, blocks to foot switches before. OK, so now that that's done, in theory, this should work perfectly to change our amplifier channel switches. So let's just test it out. <laughs> Okay, all done. So we've assigned our amp channel change to foot switch number five really, really simply. All right, guys, so now that we've configured the HX to switch the channels on our amplifier, the last thing I want to do is hook up an expression pedal to control some of the parameters on one of the particular blocks in my chain. Now, because we used foot switch five to switch our amp channel and had to remove the delay bypass, I want to be able to control certain parameters of our delay block. So I'm going to use an expression pedal to do that. So what I've done is connect a Dunlop volume pedal mini, which can be used as an expression pedal. And I've connected it to the first of the two foot switches for expression and external amp switching. So that's going to be our expression pedal that we're going to use today. If you've got an expression pedal yourself, you might just need to play around a little bit with the settings on HX to be able to uh, get the expression pedal to talk properly to the HX itself. But it's really, really simple to do. It's very much a plug and play kind of thing with most expression pedals and this device. So let's talk about what we want to do with the expression pedal, which in this case, I want to be able to control our mix and feedback parameters on our delay block. So it's really, really simple to start doing this. I need to come down to the Bypass and Controller Assign tab. 
And now here you have a drop down menu of all the things you can control on that particular block. So here I can control all of these different parameters on our delay block. So as I said, I want to focus on the mix and the feedback. So let's start with the mix. So let's select that as our parameter we want to control. I then need to choose a controller for it, which in this case is going to be expression pedal one. Now here is where I can select basically what the throw of the expression pedal is going to uh, change within the parameters. So at the minimum, when it's completely healed down, I want the delay to be essentially bypassed, which means the mix is going to be at zero. But when the expression pedal is all the way toe down, I want the mix to be at about 50%. So let me just slide down the max slider here to 50%. So now our delay block is active. This should mean that when I move the expression pedal, the mix of the delay changes. So to illustrate that, I'm going to come back over to the edit tab and you'll be able to see in real time here the, uh, the mix changing as I move the expression pedal. Okay, so let's just do exactly the same thing to control our feedback parameter really quickly. So I'm going to come back to the Bypass Controller Assign tab, and via the same process, I want to change it from the mix now to the feedback. Same thing, I'm going to set it up to be controlled by Expression Pedal 1. And let's say we want to go from a minimum of about 20% feedback to about 50% when it's at its maximum setting. So let's just bring the max down to 50 so now it will work exactly the same way as we did with the mix control. So when I move the pedal, it's going to change the feedback parameter too. So let's just illustrate that back on the edit tab. So you can see now both the mix and the feedback controls are going to move when I change the expression pedal. Okay, so using an expression pedal in this way is a really, really helpful way not only to free up some foot switches on your HX, but also to have real-time control over parameters, uh, particularly on things like delays, reverbs, and certain modulations. It's really nice to really get those little intricate kind of in-between settings that you wouldn't be able to get just by turning a block on and off. As you can see, there's a lot of travel in the expression pedal, and when I move it, you can see how much kind of control you have over each of those parameters. And this is indefinite as well, so I could theoretically control every single one of these delay parameters if I wanted to. And of course, if you didn't want to change the channels on your amp, you've got a second expression pedal jack to be able to hook up a second pedal to control a completely different set of parameters too. Okay, so let me just quickly summarize everything that we've set up and uh, done to our preset since we first uh, created it. So we've first of all set up our six basic blocks using effects from HX Effects itself, namely we had the compression, the distortion, the two modulations, the delay and the reverb. We've then incorporated two effects loops, one to uh, activate our amp in four cable method to use the amplifier's preamp and send and return. The other was to control our external overdrive pedal. And then what we've also done is hook up our uh, amp channel switching via foot switch number five. And then lastly, we connected an expression pedal, which in this case I've assigned to the delay block to control the mix and the feedback. Okay guys, so I hope that this video illustrates that just using a couple of different pieces of outboard gear that you probably already own, you can really start to get the most out of your HX effects, uh, both in, in terms of incorporating it with the analog gear that you already want to use, and also being able to control several different parameters of the blocks uh, beyond just the foot switches on the unit itself. So as always, I hope that you found this guide helpful. If you have, please give us a like and comment with your thoughts down below. Let us know if you have any further questions about the HX family of products too, and we'll do our best to answer those in upcoming videos in this series. So stay tuned to the rest of this video series, guys, if you want to find out how to get even more out of your HX effects. And that's it. As always, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.